What we're going to be going over here are liquidating dividends as a return of stockholders capital investment versus a return of earned capital as our retained earnings here. So for example here, Corporation A has these equity accounts and this is just going to be very basic for our example here. They have st common stock, uh, 120,000 shares, $5 par for $600,000 here for their par amount and then they have additional paid in capital to common stock. They're going to have $950,000 there and then they have retained earnings here at a million dollars. So their total stockholders equity is two million five hundred fifty thousand dollars. So Corp A uh, here issued a cash dividend to its common stock shareholders of four hundred thousand dollars. And what they stated here to their shareholders or the stockholders is that uh, they noted that the stockholders should consider two hundred fifty thousand as income and the remainder as a return of capital here to the stockholders of $150,000. So the uh, stockholder, common share stockholders are going to get 400000 here and it's split up here. Uh, 250000 is considered income uh, by the corporation and the remainder 150000 here is considered a return of capital here. Okay, so let's go down and look at what we're talking about here. And this is going to be what we call a partially liquidating dividend here. So uh, we're going to have these accounts here. We're going to have our cash account here. Then we're going to have there's common stock, additional paid in capital, our common stock, and then our retained earnings here um, that we have for the company. So we are going to start out with our cash dividend that's paid here. So we had plenty of cash sitting here. We're going to have 600000 in cash. We can meet this dividend here because we're going to pay out 400000 here in uh, that dividend to the stockholder. So where did the $400,000 come from here? So what we have here, we're going to pay $250,000 is coming out of the retained earnings here. We have a million sitting here in retained earnings, million dollars here in retained earnings, and we're going to reduce it by $250,000. And that's the portion from our earnings here, because that um, retained earnings here represents the shareholder's equity here. Uh, the retained earnings is the earned capital. So that's our income that's setting here for the company here. So uh, the portion here of the income here is going to be 250000 and that's considered the non-liquidating portion here, the 250000 that's going to be paid in dividends over here to the common stock shareholders. Now the additional amount is going to come from uh, the shareholders uh, equity account here, the common stock account, and that's the contributed capital. That's the capital that the stockholders paid in here. And this part here is going to be called the liquidating dividend here because um, what we do here is we're going to go down to our additional paid in capital, our common stock. That's the excess over the par amount. And we have 950000 sitting in that. So out of the $400,000 cash dividend that's being paid here, 150000 is coming from the additional paid in capital here. We had uh, 250 coming, 250,000 coming from our earned capital account here, retained earnings, and then the balance here is coming from the additional paid in capital here uh, to our common stock, uh, $150,000. So we would debit or reduce our uh, additional paid in capital here by 150,000. And what's happening here? This is the portion that's being returned to the. Um, shareholders here and that's reducing our additional paid in capital here by a hundred and fifty thousand dollars and that's the liquidating uh, dividend portion here and the reason why we may have this here or the company declared this liquidating dividend here you may have a sale of some of the corporation's assets or the corporation may have a be a natural resources company and there's a depletion here of the resources so they may uh, declare the part of their contributed capital here is part of the uh, dividends dividends they're playing paying out to the common stock shareholders now remember um, this liquidating dividend is not based on the corporation's earnings. It reduces the shareholders equity. That's the return of the shareholders capital here. This didn't involve any retained earnings or any earned capital on a company. This is strictly the con contributed capital and that's what we call a liquidating dividend here versus the um, portion here of the earned capital here or retained earnings. This portion here is non-liquidating portion. This is the non-liquidating here. And when we make these uh, liquidating dividends here, it requires proper disclosure in the financial statements here and the dividend checks. So the financial statements that the company puts out has to 
a state here what portion here is going into a liquidating dividend and what and then when the stockholders get their dividend checks it should state that on their dividend checks here so they understand where that dividend's coming from okay so this is the difference here where where we're talking about this partially liquidating dividend some of it came out of the come out of it does cash dividends being paid to the common stock shareholders some of it's coming out of the earned capital here that would be the non-liquidating portion here and then the other portion is coming out of contributed capital that's our liquidating dividend here okay so let's go over and look at uh, the next case here okay so here we're going to be looking at the same thing as we did before except that we'll just look at it here where we have a dividend that's greater uh, than the amount in accumulated net income here so here same situation here we have our shareholders equity our retained earnings account here that would be our earned capital but in this case we only have fifty thousand sitting here in our retained earnings so, and we're going to pay all of that out here um, to meet this $400,000 cash dividend. Same situation as before here. Uh, common stockholders are going to get a $400,000 uh, cash dividend here um, based on the, the, what the uh, board of directors or of the company said. We're going to get give them that cash dividend here. And company has only 50000 sitting here in its earned capital, its retained earnings. So they would debit that out here. So you're going to have earnings here depleted down to zero and again this portion here is the non-liquidating portion just as it was before now the other portion again is just coming in from out of the additional paid in capital here to common stockholders here and that we had sitting at nine hundred fifty thousand so we make up the, the balancing amount would come out of that here three hundred and fifty thousand again this we would debit our additional paid in capital here for three hundred fifty thousand that's the portion that's being returned for the stock from stockholders equity reduces the additional paid in capital here by three hundred fifty thousand dollars and again that's just the liquidating dividend here so um, our cash payment here for the dividend, uh, 50000 is coming from the earned uh, capital amount here. And then the other balance here, 350000 is coming from contributed capital here. And it comes out of additional paid in capital here to common stock. Now, our in both cases here, our common stock par value remained the same here because we didn't, uh, we only, we could, we take it all out of the additional paid in capital account. We had plenty sitting in there. So we... Uh, debited the amount that we needed here the excess amount we started out with a retained earnings that was the first amount that uh, whatever we had we took out in this case we depleted our retained earnings here and then the additional amount had to come out of our additional paid in capital okay so uh, this here was the, where we had a dividend that's greater than the amount in accumulated in our net income okay so let's go up here and just review this briefly here so there these are the reasons for liquidating dividends here uh, number one a corp issues dividends based on some regular dividend that they pay here and the situation could be such that they're short here of uh, net income for the period here so they take it right out of their paid in capital account here uh, because the stockholders probably are waiting for this dividend check here and they're a little short on uh, they probably they have the cash here but they're short on the retained earnings portion so that that would be the net income for the period so they take it out of the um, paid in, or the um, contributed capital portion here or the paid in capital and some the other next reason here is some corporations use paid in uh, use the paid in capital as the basis for dividends here that would be like mining corporations where they use a, a depletion here of the resources so they typically use their paid in capital account here to pay dividends here and then uh, third point here is a corporation goes out of business declares a liquidating liquidating dividend so whatever is left here they go out of business then they close out their books here and that would reduce the uh, contributed capital portion whatever sitting in there goes to the shareholders and the point four here without proper disclosure of liquidating dividends stockholders may wrongly believe the company is operating at a profit so you have to make a clear statement has to be made in the financial statements and any dividend checks to the stockholders have 
have to uh, so note here that this dividend here is either coming from earned capital or earnings of the company or it's coming from their contributed capital here of, the, of whatever they have into the company. So the yeah, proper disclosure has to be made here so stock loaders, stockholders are not misled regarding the earnings of the company. Okay, so that takes care of our liquidating dividends here and how they are affected here between the earned capital account here and the contributed capital account. And here we were looking at partially liquidating dividends.